want to talk to you for a few minutes about something that is extremely serious, and that is um, aggression in dogs. And it comes at different levels. So, for example, the, the lowest level will be a dog that barks and, and lunges at, at other dogs or people. Um, but really, is, is that's only a threat and a bluff. It, it, it just looks aggressive. And the likelihood is if you let it off the lead and let it mingle with the dog or let it approach the other people, then it would not bite them. It wouldn't attack them. So that's the first level. The second level we have is where the dog will bite somebody, will bite a person, or will bite another dog. So we've actually gone up um, a level. So now we have a dog that is more than prepared to attack strangers' dogs or strangers. The next level, which is slightly more serious again, is where the dog attacks the owner. And statistically, around about 75% of all dog bites are inflicted on the owners of the dog, as opposed to strangers. So the vast majority of dog bites are, are by the dog, it's owned by the family. So that's a very serious issue because that's, you are providing food, you're providing shelter for this animal and, and in return, this dog is biting you. But the one that I consider to be the most, most serious and most important is the dog that bites children. It doesn't bite the owner particularly, but actually attacks the kids. Now, I'm not talking about puppy biting here. I'm talking about adolescent or mature dogs biting children. It's extremely, extremely serious because children generally can't defend themselves. Since December, I've had eight people message me either on Facebook or, or through my um, webpage to tell me that their dog has bitten their children. That's eight people. My response to that is exactly the same, every single one. I need to come out and find out why your dog has attacked your children. Just that simple. What was the dog doing when the, when the, the, the attack occurred? What was the child doing when the attack occurred? And where were the owners when the attack occurred? I need that information. To, to come up with some, some form of resolution. And then I go on to say that in the short term, before I can get out and see you, keep the dog away from the kids and keep the kids away from the dog. Just work on the safety, safety aspect. Because if they don't come together, then the likelihood is nothing's gonna happen. Do you know how many people have actually gotten back to me? about the, the, the uh, aggression to kids. Uh, not Zero. Not one person has gotten back to me to say, yes, we need your help. So I know at least eight people own dogs and these dogs have attacked their children. Now, they could have gone to another behaviorist. Uh, they could have gone to another trainer. Um, I don't know. I don't know the situation. I don't know the circumstances. But let me put it to you very simply, the potential of what's going to happen. And, and there's three things that, is, that is going to happen. First, the first issue is that perhaps something occurred in the environment, some circumstances that were so unusual associated with the dog and the child that created a bite. Now, these circumstances never happened before and quite possibly will never happen again. So there is not a trigger for the dog to bite the child. If that was just a simple one-off mistake, the dog, the child poked the dog in the eye, pulled its tail, pulled its ear, upset it, whatever. A one-off is a one-off. Now, the next level is where those situations and those circumstances 
start to happen on a regular basis. If they happen on a regular basis, the dog is going to bite the child on a regular basis. So you have to find out what these circumstances are and prevent it happening. The attacks are not getting more severe. The attack is still the attack. But the circumstances aren't changing, so the attacks are increasing in frequency, not increasing in severity. So you have to change the circumstances. And finally, and, and the one that you have to be really careful about, is when a dog recognises that it can manipulate circumstances or, or, or manipulate people by using aggression, then the aggression will definitely increase in intensity and frequency. So simply, it will just get worse and worse. So what I'm saying to those people out there that have got dogs that have attacked their children, you need help. You need professional help. And simply ringing up a training school and taking it there to be trained is not going to do it. You can't take your dog to a training school to teach it not to bite your kids. That will never work.